Hello, next community. So, we may have an actual working next optical drive. <clears throat> Thanks to the genius of Brian Archer. I haven't seen it stolen yet, and it does list the optical disc. Also shows that my RAM upgrade to 64 successful. I'm still seeing blinking lights with the Zulu card. This ought to get interesting because it says it's a next traveling disc. So knock on wood, let's see what happens here in a second. <laughs> I believe this might have been one of uh, Steve Jobs' actual discs that I got uh, through the Gary Bradfield estate. Uh, Gary uh, set up, you know, all of Steve's uh, presentations and keynotes for quite a few years. Really nice guy. Uh, he was the lead guitarist in Cyberpunk. And I also have a bunch of stuff from Rich Page. So uh, this disc could be from either of them. Here's a little sticker that was on it. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Media Duplication Traveler. So I am not sure. I thought I'd throw it in there just because it looked interesting. And I haven't seen, I mean, it sounded pretty good. So far, so good. And because if this is a working optical drive, they're as rare as hen's teeth. So uh, it's going to be important for me to make duplicates of all of the uh, um, software here. Yeah, they've got uh, Robert from West Caps. As we can see, the uh, logo, my login screen logo I did for them is working. We'll find out here shortly. <laughs> May take a, a minute for it to boot. Uh, is, uh, you know, I'm swinging for the fences, so it's, there's a bunch of apps on there as usual. Sounds like a typewriter running the book. This one's actually uh, quiet, but once it gets going, you'll you'll hear what I, you know, I'm saying it's definitely a, definitely cool stuff. Gives kind of a little personality to these nexts. And uh, so next really pushed Canon to develop this. Canon put 155 million into next. And these were actually the world's first optical drive. And then Canon also found a use for them. They had a thing called the Cano file. So it was good for archiving, um, you know, uh, databases and stuff like that. <clears throat> so what was amazing about it at the time, it's 256 meg. And the largest drives at the time, I think, were about 100 meg. Well, looky there. So we're seeing an optical disc up in... Uh, yeah, let's see if there's anything in here. So this is something about bad block. Lost and found, hidden. You know, I am not... Uh, uh, this may have actually been uh, kind of a duplicator. Let's see. Let's open this just out of curiosity and see what it says. I'm going to see if I can grab another disc while I'm at it here. And we'll try something that's, you know... <laughs> Let's see what this one says, if I can even read it. I think it's uh, some kind of uh, backup for somebody. <laughs> Let's see what the bad block says. Maybe this is a way for them to uh, diagnose bad blocks. I don't know. That's all that's on this disk. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click quit. And I'm going to jump up out of here real quick. Then I'm going to bring it back down. And then with any luck, I'll be able to go up here to disk and eject.
And out of curiosity, we'll see if this works. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay. So, we're going to try another disc. If this spins up, I'm going to fall out of my chair. Okay, so we're just going to pop it in with any luck. Oh, oh. Okay. Holy crap, is it spinning up? I guess I could launch the console app just for to see if it's going to mount it. <laughs> and it says it's mounted. Holy caboli. Okay. Brian, Brian, Brian. Looky there, man. Okay. Is there anything on here <laughs> that would be of interest? Okay. I'm not seeing really any local apps. Uh, but this is somebody's backup. So, uh, next admin. Interesting. Demos. Uh, let's see if uh, maybe I go into user ADM messages. And maybe it'll give me the messages from this desk. We'll find out here. We can kind of figure out what was going on. So far, so good. And it should pop open a panel. Remember, I'm using a combination of old technology and new with that Zulu card as a main boot drive. So, we'll see what happens here. Okay, we're going to drop down. So this is definitely, uh, yeah, this is something that uh, they had running. App kit. Let's see if we can figure out who they were. Backup version three. So this is running 3.2. And it looks like they were backing up a quantum fireball. See if we get any other kind of information here. All right. So, uh, nothing too interesting on this one. So, let's, uh, let's try that again. I'm going to go ahead and close it down. And there's a method to my madness here. Then I want to jump all the way back to the main directory. Okay. And then you want to go back and highlight our optical disc here. I can't believe we're two for two. And then I'm going to go ahead and click disc. And give it a second, and then do eject. We'll go back over here. Look at that, it spins it down. Should kick it out. Brian, dude. Okay. Should we try three for three? <laughs> Everybody out there that owns a Next is probably rolling in their... <laughs> okay, what's this one say? This one says... I'm not even going to try it because it has an orange sticker on it. Um, fortunately, I have a lot of different ones here that I've just been kind of... I gathered together a bunch of them yesterday just from around the house. Let's see if there's anything that looks good. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to set this down for just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take a look at this other one just to see if it's got any clues what it might be. Uh, Got to be careful with these two. The plastic gets brittle on them. Let's just say. Data V1. Let's see what this is about. 
Okay. Are you guys entertained? I'm going to pick up the uh, phone again. Hopefully it's still recording. Yes. We're going to pop it in. Oh, okay. We just kind of set it in there. And, hello. Oh. Okay, that's quick. If it can't read it, sometimes it'll just kick it out. Let's see what happens. Is thinking about it. Unknown device type. <laughs> Optical disc is unreadable. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and kick that one out. Um, because I'm not sure what it's, what's going on with it. Bear with me. I'm going to go through a bunch of them here. <laughs> I hope this is inter interesting because this, you know, is uh, not often seen technology. Okay, this one might be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. You guys are going to love this. I hope it works. As I say, I've got some really rare stuff. Okay, so this is historical here. Some of these I've been waiting to try for a very long time. Are you ready? <laughs> the first compilation disc of Lighthouse Design. All right, let's see if that's what it actually is. And that'll be kind of neat. So I'm going to open it up. Bear with me. i got to open this thing up. First compilation disc. Unconditional money back guarantee. Okay. Let's go ahead and try it here real quick. And uh, we can even try and install. So I'm going to show you this. I bet the lighthouse guys are probably jumping up and down out there. Okay. First compilation disc. This might actually be their first compilation disc. Maybe it's got the source code that we've been looking for. <laughs> I heard that they lost it all at a garage sale a while ago. <laughs> okay, so it's still, let's see, come on, man. The fans go wild. Brian, look at this. Tell me it's going to work. First compilation. This is like, you know, geek gold medal stuff going on here. Please tell me. What in the world is going on here? Classes? Huh? David Wright. Okay, I'm looking here. Ford Grant. What's that about? Ford Budget. I don't have uh, Wig Z on here, so I'm not sure that would launch. Let me see what this is. Furniture frame. I think this is somebody that has written over this disc. I'm going to guess. Because this actually looks like a doctor, potentially. Um, yeah, because it's got kids, Lucy... Fractures. What's Carter Goats? Uh, let's see. Business card Word Perfect. Let's see what happens. I think I installed Word Perfect on here, maybe. No, I didn't install Word Perfect yet on this one. I wasn't expecting this to work. <laughs> 
What's church about? Let's see. Church. Yeah, these are going to be a bunch of WordPerfect files. Well, that's a bummer that they wrote over uh, the Lighthouse stuff, but that's what happened, kind of. Um, and so in order to see all this stuff, I could maybe take a look and see what this is, because it's just a text file. Roger Kirstner, that name seems familiar. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quit as usual. We're going to log out. We're going to keep going. So what's neat about this is some of the original um, Next owners that have stuff like this, what I've been able to do, and now I can pull it from their optical drives, drop it onto an SD card and bring it into previous, including all their original applications. And so I've had some customers literally in tears uh, you know, that had poetry and, and letters back and forth to, you know, someone that may have passed and stuff like that, I know, in the past. So, you know, for for me, that's, that's one of the reasons I've stayed in this so long is the uh, next community. I mean, it's really a great bunch of people. And in some cases, a lot of, you know, my customers are in their 80s and 90s. And some of them have passed on. I've had, you know, had systems they've just, you know, kind of, I've, I've had them willed to me and stuff like that, or I've been able to recover stuff. And an example is, uh, in the next couple of days, um, I'm going to have the system coming in that uh, Kurt, who recently passed his wife is dropping off all his equipment and he developed Lotus Improv. And we're hoping that the source code for Lotus Improv is on his personal system. If it is, I have permission to pull it. And it was never ported over to Next for Intel. So this one looks cool too. Let's try ClickArt. Um, but in return, what I'm going to do for him is uh, set up, I'm going to go in, we're going to fix up his system, new capacitors, you know, clean it all up, maybe new RAM and a, a SCSI to SD. And then I'm going to do like a custom slideshow for them. And, you know, for doing that, um, uh, I think we're going to do partial, you know, maybe cash because Matt charges for his caps. And then, you know, I think they're going to give me, I think there's a printer and stuff. And it looks like some of the stuff's never been used. So, um, you know, for me, it's, it's not about the money <laughs> after doing it this, this long, you know, it's just with all my health issues, you know, I almost wasn't here last year, came within 30 minutes of not being on planet earth because <laughs> of MRSA. Um, okay. So click art, it looks like our click art stuff's here. Sorry. I just tried to fill in the gaps here. So let's see if we could actually, um, I want to see if we can copy some stuff over just for the heck of it. Let's see if we can find something fun here. Uh, why don't we try equipment? And I guess these are maybe just, uh, let's just try and copy the whole shebang over. What do you say? So I'm thinking where we would put this probably normally in libraries. So I'm going to just drag this up to our shelf here. Then I'm going to go back to our main root directory. And then I'm going to drop down to a uh, local library, which I think would be a good spot for it. So that's going to bring our folder here. And then I should be able to drop this in. And then you'll see it saying copying um, if I bring up tools, processes, it is going to show us how quickly it does. And look how fast this is. 
and you're not even hearing this thing. Brian, man, kudos, brother. <laughs> okay, so there is that. Now let's go into local library. We're looking for equipment, and we're going to launch a camera. Let's see what comes up. Uh, it's going to probably bring up Tiffany, and then Tiffany will launch the EPS. I should have loaded Toy Viewer on here because it's a lot faster. Um, Toy Viewer lets you look at all different kinds of file formats. Um, and I'm just going to click uh, Demo, so it's going to write Tiffany across it. Uh, we do have permission. I do have you know, uh, permission from a lot of the original authors. So we could use all the old apps as, under hobbyist license. So in a lot of cases, it's like freeware, shareware. And I do appreciate anybody, you know, making a small donation to help me keep the lights on and support the next community. Um, got a couple of assistants and they need to eat too. <laughs> We're all in our 60s. And they're happy just to have some side work because they're retired and so it's helping them out quite a bit. And we're having fun. So, um, I mean, this is great for me. I mean, I'm really stoked that I have a working optical drive. And I'm not going to let it uh, sit idly by. And Brian does a great job refurbishing them. So I did some send a few of them back east to get refurbished as well. I think Thomas back there has some in Rochester. Uh, I think he's Amiga of Rochester, and he's had him for a while. I'm hoping that he'll get to him, but he's got a good rep out there. So I sent him a cube and a bunch of drives and stuff just to kind of get his feet wet. And I've heard good things, you know, from other people that aren't even connected, that we've connected after I sent that stuff out. Like Jason, you know, he's worked for Apple. He says, oh, yeah, he does great work. He's working, doing some stuff for me. And a lot of customers uh, behind the scenes. I talked to quite a few different people, you know, uh, through the week. Uh, sometimes, you know, a uh, uh, long conversation like Jill's out there, man. Uh, glad you're out of the hospital. He's getting a liver transplant. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, great guy. He's the guy uh, working on that uh, uh, system uh, set up for MIT. Um we're going to have a display there. And then it looks like uh, Boston University said that Northwestern may be interested in similar setups. And I did one for CU here in Colorado. Uh, you know, they had a, a next cube that I got up and running. Um, I've supplied hardware for some of the Steve Jobs movies. Um, uh, the Year in Sorkin one. So that was kind of neat working with Ben Betts. And then I've done quite a uh, quite a bit of business with Animo uh, was the thing uh, uh, with the movie houses. Um, uh, it was formerly composing color, but it saved them up to 60% of the production costs. So they no longer had to do, you know, frame by, you know, hand drawn frame by frame. They could use morphine, morphing and, uh, it was kind of neat because once they had all the different uh, movements stored, they could just bring those in, you know, up to 150 characters and just drop them into a script and interface with, uh, uh, you know, real, real live uh, <laughs> actors. Um, one of the movies that uh, we integrated the systems for was Space Jam with Michael Jordan back in the day. Well, it's loading uh, the action managers. That seems like it's kind of a little bit slow here. Um, I'm going to go back to that uh, optical disc and see if there's, I mean, anything else I could maybe, because we've already copied it, um, and see if there's any other kind of file formats. I guess I really didn't think this through. On this particular uh, uh, partition, by not having say WordPerfect and Right Now and 
some of the basic apps. I thought I had them here in this directory. I'm going to just jump down to, to make sure that they are not here. Seems like I have a lot of stuff, but no more perfect. I always say, wouldn't be in a live demo unless something like this happens, right? And I thought I had Toy Viewer on here as well, which would make this go a heck of a lot quicker. Um, and sometimes when it's doing its thing, you just have to be patient. Um, so, that being said... I'm going to go ahead and see if I can, because we've already done the copy. I want to go on, move on to the next next one. So we know that uh, click art is good and that I could copy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and highlight these, this, and then we're going to go up to disk eject. I really wish Tiffany would launch here. <laughs> so click art's going to kick out because the the actual files have been moved over to the hard drive or the SD, so they shouldn't be this slow. That's just a uh, a deal with Tiffany, um, and I can see the lights on in there. And if we go back here, it should start ejecting. Uh, <laughs> did it eject? Oh boy, here we go. So what's it saying down here? Optical disc click art, drive command failed. Okay. So I was under the assumption that I'd gone to local apps then went to no it was local library sorry then went to equipment and just uh clicked something here like camera and it should just launch it so i could go back since tiffany's not cooperating we'll see if it just shuts it off and we'll try it again maybe this time See if it relaunches it successfully. Okay, there it goes. We're just running it in demo. Checking the network, initializing the system. These run so quiet now. Come on, this is where it stalled last time. In loading action managers and I am not sure it doesn't like something there <laughs> oh man well you know what I'm going to have to do I think is uh, I'm going to close down Tiffany and because my icon has disappeared with the optical disc I'm just going to go ahead and let's see if I can go over to a terminal window and see if it'll let me eject the optical disc, possibly. And I believe that can, let me just do a... Uh, um, Okay, let's see what, let's do help, let's see if there's, okay, why isn't that working? All right, um, so let me just try power off, turn it off, and then it's, hopefully it's going to eject our optical disk. Uh. It's usually one of the things that it'll do. It may not because I'm dealing with the SCSI uh, SD, which I think there's a little bit different interface when it's dealing with uh, peripherals. So actual peripherals versus uh, 
mechanical ones, I should say, like hard drives and such. So what I'm gonna try here is I'm gonna do a command tilde, get to a command line, I'm gonna try and eject the optical disc. Once it goes testing system, it kicks into our most boot mode. I'm hoping to get to a next prompt and by typing EO, that it will eject the optical disc. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try EO. Okay, so that did work, see? That's good. So bear with me, we're gonna go up to the next one. I'm good enough now where I can kind of figure my way through, you know, stuff like that would probably cause people to panic. I've done it in the past, but now I just kind of, I think I know enough of the different symptoms. After 31 years, <laughs> I've seen a lot of different stuff. Okay, that's release 1.0. So, uh, let's see if there's any other interesting ones. Okay, this looks interesting because we'll find out if this particular media works, right? So, um, I'll show you here in a second. So, this is a Canon uh, 502 optical disc, and I believe it's double-sided. And I think it, it must work in next. But I'm not sure both sides work. So let's see what it says there. Plate tectonics. Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. 